Hello Scorpios, welcome to your mid-month tune-up for September 2021. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM and we can certainly set that up. Let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, by God's Universe, can you please read your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Scorpios for the middle of September, the period surrounding it, and moving forward. Any messages you have will be greatly appreciated and we thank you for Scorpios for... The middle of September, the period surrounding it, and how they'll be moving forward. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe, and closer to the divine? Any messages, please, for Scorpios? Scorpios, please. Ooh. Okay. All right, so we have the Two of Swords in reverse for general energies. We have the World card in the upright for challenges. Three of Swords in the upright for advice. And the Three of, I mean, sorry, the Eight of Swords in the upright for um, how you will be moving forward from this reading. Other things to mention, make sure you click on the link below for your weekly extra. Uh, not your weekly extra, just your extra, extra. It's extra, extra, <laughs> which will have your love, career, finances, and health in there. I'm doing 2022 sun, moon predictions. Put your requests up in the readings. Please be patient. I'm doing 144 readings and we're not to 2022 yet. I, but while you're waiting, you can look at my 2021 readings that are in there if you want to see if they rang true for you. Those are still in my playlist. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, or donate. Let's get to your reading. So Scorpios, two of swords in reverse. What's going on here? Um, it seems like there's something going on and you're going to have to make a decision regarding it. And the, why do I think this is, this seems like it's a lovey-dovey reading. Um, but it's a general reading, so it can apply however. But I'm getting with the two of swords in reverse. Something is amiss. You know there's something's amiss. You know you're going to have to decide something. You don't want to decide something because you don't feel 100% sure. And not only that, you know that whichever way you decide, you're not going to like it. So you're, you'd like to hold off on making this decision. Um, the two of swords for me in reverse is when someone's una unable to make a decision in a timely manner, but they need to make it in a timely manner. Um, otherwise what's going to happen is it's going to be made for them. Um, pull these out and see what's going on um so i often say just write down your pros and cons and figure out you know which way is the best way to go with it and <laughs> and and then just pick a list make it kind of happen uh we have the world card in reverse which indicates to me you're not going to get all the information that you want to get as you move forward in the decision so you can kind of take that off of the table there's going to be pieces missing you're not going to have all, all the answers there's going to be you know, um, unresolved things, unfinished business or what have you. Um, but you're going to have to, you're going to need to figure it out. We have the King of Cups here in the upright. Why am I feeling like this is a counselor? So I, I'm getting a counselor feeling from that person. Um, somebody that's very empathetic, someone that you can talk to, counselor, psychiatrist, therapist of some sort, someone who's an emotional doctor. It could be um, just, it doesn't have to be somebody that's necessarily, that's your trait. It could be somebody in your perimeter um, that's kind of helping you with this from an emotional standpoint. They're helping you get your clarity with the moon card in, um, oh yeah, they're helping you with this situation. I felt, I heard rip, the band, rip off the band-aid. Is this person telling you to do that? Because that's what I got. Just rip off the band-aid. Um, and, and then I think they're saying, if, if you do this, I got you. If you just rip off the band-aid, we'll deal with it then. Um, so again, I feel you're, you're hesitant to do it because all the negativity that's going to surround it. But this person is is advising you to kind of do that. Um, the moon card in reverse, which is the card of Pisces, is you see this clear as day. You know what's going on, okay? So whatever this is, is and, and I feel, again, this person's kind of coming in and saying, hey, you know what? This is really affecting you negatively. You want to keep this in your life or you want to rip off the band-aid and get rid of it, you know? And, and they understand. I feel like they're behind you and they're saying, you know, I can help you kind of go through this. I can help you kind of, you know, I'll, I have your back. I'm kind of getting that in that regard. Um, three of swords in reverse, to me, is kind of going along with this they say if you go ahead and do this um, I'll help you I'll help you ease through the pain I'll help you you know move on from this we'll figure it out so this really is an ally that you have kind of in your corner um, I'm feeling but they're they're telling you you got to do this it's good it got to be now or you know 
It's, got, it's going to be now or never. I mean, the challenge with this show, we have the world card in the upright. So that's kind of um, the same thing as the world card reversed here. Um, but it's saying your challenge is that you're not going to be able to wrap this up quite the way you want to. You're not going to be able to end this quite the way that you want to. Want to. You're going to um, have reservations that you did the right thing or you went about it the right way or that you didn't get the closure that you needed. Um, so that's what's challenging you and what's, what's holding you up. You'd rather that it was more complete, it was more whole. You could have closure with this situation and you could actually, you know, it, it would make it easier for you. I'm getting... Yeah, you don't, with the cherry card in reverse, that's a card of cancer. And, and what I'm getting from that is a challenge position is you really don't know. You really can't steer this the way that you want to steer it. Um, I mean, I mean, I feel as though you only have a certain measure of control over it. Um, it's, it's kind of, what's that saying? It's kind of like, you know, you might not, and I don't, I don't mean to bring death into it because there's nothing death in this reading, but it, it's just the analogy of, you know, you know, you're going to die. You can choose how you want to die. Like, so, so it's something that's very dire. It's something you don't want to choose, but at least you can decide how it's going to go down, how it's going to, um, you know, finally end or you, you know what I mean? Um, and again, I feel like if you don't, then, then someone will make the decision for you. It might very well be this king of cups here who's telling you that in a rather gentle manner um any other messages for the world card we may not have any other messages but why is the world card here who's this person with this energy it always comes out of fat stack yeah so and you don't have the um the you don't have the the king of swords is really good at making a very logical decision very wise decision very intelligent he thinks on it for a long time and then he figures out what he's going to do through his objectivity you don't have any of that because it's in the challenge position so you're lacking all of those qualities that i told you in regards to making that decision so you might want to pull you want, might want to pull somebody else in like i said who has objectivity who is going to be a support system for you why is this three of swords here in the upright for advice why is this three of swords here in the upright for advice? Okay. So they're telling you to end it and they're saying, <laughs> they're, they're telling you it's going to be painful. You are going to suffer loss. I mean, I know that you don't want to hear that. So whether it's heartbreak, loss, separation, a divorce, um, something you failed at, um, losing your job, um, you know it's going to happen and uh, with the hanged man in the reverse i'm getting that you want it to happen a certain way and again we're going back to you really don't have any kind of control over it i feel that you're being uncompromising and saying well if this is going to end you know this is how i kind of want it to end um but, but I, I just feel like it's it's not going to be pleasant. And they're telling you, I mean, we have the four of wands here in reverse. There isn't going to be anything seamless about it. It's actually going to be, um, I'm getting with the four of wands in reverse. It's going to be tense. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's not going to be a very good kind of situation. The ten of pentacles in reverse um, leads you to believe there's going to be a lot of discord, a lot of inf instability. Could be within a family. The ten of pentacles is a family card for me. The solidity of family is no longer there. So um, it's kind of like bite the bullet, um, fall back, use this guy as a crutch is what I'm getting. Uh, Eight of swords is moving forward. And I don't feel as though <laughs> you end up making this decision. I think you feel trapped. You're, you're restricting yourself. And it's kind of like damned if I do, damned if I don't. Um, so you're holding off from it. <laughs> I, I think you are trying to uh, elongate it as long as you can or put it off as long as you can because this is how you're moving forward and I don't feel like things have changed. Um, you feel stuck so you're like well then I'm not going to do anything at all and let's kind of see what happens. Remember um, if you do nothing something will be decided for you or the energies will evolve to a point where yeah a decision is made for you the universe decides for you. So sitting and doing nothing might not be the best thing you might not have all the control that you kind of want over it but you might have not have control over the outcome but you will have control over the decision i'm getting here you guys are gonna love that i have a hurt hand with all these cards coming out okay so so i see that you want to be able to stand on your own two feet and kind of do this but 
the seven uh, i mean what i'm seeing is you're having reservations again so you're like if i go ahead and i do this and i do it now is it going to pay off is it going to be successful is it going to work out like we never know that stuff if that's going to work or not we have the five of cups in the reverse so you're not really excited about having this happen you know when it does you're going to suffer an incredible loss you're going to be very sorrowful you might have to go separate ways with somebody or you're going to feel um you know like you failed kind of going back to this situation um you're concerned somebody's going to be upset with the king of wands in the upright this is somebody who uh definitely um when something doesn't go their way they kind of make sure that um they can get a little bit fired up. They can be upset because they're like a my way or the highway kind of person. Um, but they can also be that way and then make you feel like you failed, kind of bounce it back on you. We have the Ten of Swords here in the upright, which is a very painful ending to a cycle. So, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Again, it's not pleasant. It, it's when something ends and it's absolutely terrible and it's rock bottom because it's the end of a cycle. And the death card in reverse, which I hope this isn't the case, and that is the card of Scorpio. I'm feeling as though you stay in this situation longer than you should, um, even though you long to be out of it because of these things, because you know it's going to be unpleasant, because you know this person's going to be upset and make you feel like you fail, because you know you're going to be sorrowful, because you don't know if you're doing the right thing. And, and and that it's actually going to kind of work out um and that here is you longing just to be not connected to anybody and and being able to stand on your own two feet in regards to this so i do hate, see hesitation as you move forward um i get it but i don't like i said just rip off the band-aid that might be the <laughs> that might be the title so that's what i have for you all if it resonates consider a personal reading just send me an email or a dm so we can set that up make sure you click on the link below for your extra extra which will have your love your career your finances and your health in there i'm uploading my 2022 sun moon predictions put your requests in the comments please be patient i have 144 readings that i'm doing and it's not 2022 yet also in my playlist while you're waiting you can look at your 2021 sun moon predictions see if they true for you check me out on facebook instagram tiktok like share subscribe or donate i will see you in the vimeo reading adios scorpios bye